Hey, this is the franchise, Shane Douglas. For the walking weapon, Josh Alexander, and you're watching. Oh, me. And you're watching. And you're watching. this podcast, and Ollie Harper, my man. <laughs> And you're watching The Ollie Harper Show on YouTube. Hey, what is going on, everybody? It's me, Ollie, aka TNS Satitude, and I am back again here on YouTube.com for all things professional wrestling. Now, today, guys, well, this is the one you have all been waiting for, guys. It took me a couple of months to really want to get this together. You know, I really had to dig through everything and make sure that I had everything ready to go because, you know, it's a big haul video of what I got at WrestleMania 40 XL from this past April in Philadelphia. And guys, if you have not seen the trip, if you are brand new on this channel, please give me a subscribe. Please do check out the videos. I've got so much great content on this channel from a wrestling fan's perspective, from international, of course, here in the UK. But guys, like I say, I'm Ollie. Welcome. And guys, this is the big haul video. What did I get at WrestleMania 40? Well, WrestleMania 40 was a great trip. I went out with my good buddy Mark Newton 89. We had a good we had a good laugh. Uh, it was good fun. Episodes 21 of them all on the channel. But today, like I said, guys, I'm wearing the trucker hat. So that straight away is the first item you can see there. I'm rocking a... God, I'm going to take this hat off. It's, it's hot. Do you know the temp... As I tape this video... Temperature is going up in the UK. We've had some terrible weather recently, but apparently we're getting warmer spells going into July. But anyway, cutting off there. But anyway, guys, right, so, haul video. Um, God, where do I start? You know, WrestleMania 40 was mega. And, you know, well, first of all, let's look at the first thing I'm going to show you guys. Of course, the, the chair. Uh, I got a Night 2 chair. Of course, thanks to my good buddy Mark, he was able to help me get this at the end of night too, um, you know, and it was free. I didn't pay a thing for this. In fact, the, guy, the, the nice guy who gave me the chair, I think he had like five or six of them, uh, he was just very, very nice and I said thank you so much. But uh, yeah, so I have my night two chair, which I'm of course sitting in. Um, let's start with, I think, the first item that I was actually able to pick up at the Superstore is one of these, one of, I think these were like one of, oh, Oh, uh, there's a limited edition of 2000 Philadelphia Faro doll. Well, Faro plush. Can you see that, guys? It is a one of. Two, it is a uh, limited of 2000. There is only there was only 2000 of these apparently at the superstore. And uh, yeah, so I kept it in the bag because it's a collector's item. But yeah. Still got the tag and everything, guys. But yeah, very, very cool with that. Of course, being a Cody Rhodes fan, he had to get his dog. Plushy, 30 bucks. But hey, you know. Um, also, of course, can't forget one of the very first, I'm trying to say the very first thing I actually picked up. We went to the Becky Lynch book signing and I was able to get the Becky Lynch book. I got to meet Becky, which was really cool. She signed the book, which I will show you. It's like... She does a page that she does it on. I think she does it with every single book the same way. But uh, really nice. And she also signed it Becky Two Belts as well, which I thought was really, really cool. So, yeah, we got the, the Becky book, which I still need to really pick up again and start reading. Um, so that was really, really cool. Um, I was going to show you guys. There's so much to get through, guys. Um, also, of course, the program get the program at the superstore. I still, have, I still have it in the bag. It just shows you. I look after my stuff. But yes, have the program. Uh, got to, you, you've got to get the Mania program. I know a lot of it, usually I like, even put a superstar, even put a superstar autograph page for World because they obviously knew that they were doing some autographs. Um, got your match cards and everything, guys. So, very, very cool. And obviously on the back, we got the Hall of Fame. So, that was that's nice. Uh, so yeah, got the program. I can't remember the program was like twenty. I think it was like twenty bucks for the program. I can't remember twenty to twenty-five. 
If it was cheaper, I'm probably lying to myself, but only because I can't, I can't remember how much I paid for the program, actually. It was around, like I say, it was around 20, I think, 20, 25. Um, I also got, of course, the Cody track. This one was like 70, um, 70 or 80, the Holloway. This was the newest one that they released for Mania. And of course, he's been wearing this one pretty much since on TV and stuff. It's a great, I love this nightmare. Family track. Really, really cool, this one, guys. Of course, I've got the football jersey, which I also picked up on the first day. Um, I also, of course, got, I wish I was just showing you, I did get the Mania Trucker hat. Bought that on the Friday, which was really cool. Um, then, of course, I bought this, literally one of the last, this was like the last thing I bought at the Superstore uh, during the week, which, of course, was the... Uh, Story continues, Cody Rhodes t-shirt, obviously from his big win, of course. So they pretty much had them ready to go for before Raw after Mania at the Superstore, which was cool. Um, also, of course, I've got the Bailey tie-dye. All the shirts were $40. Uh, it was kind of weird because they taxed us on like the first day and then they stopped taxing us. It was weird. So yeah, I've got the nice Bailey tie-dye. I've worn this before in my videos, but yeah, did get that at Mania. Um, so that was cool. I'm just trying to whisk through a few things, guys. Um, of course, I've got all my Fanatics pieces, which I'm going to show you. I did get an autograph. I bought an autograph from the Fanatics store, which was within WWE Superstore. They were all $49.99, which is kind of mad and kind of wild. But I really needed, I really wanted this auto because I collect, I was collecting damage control. And I needed Kyrie, so there you go. I got Kyrie Sane's autograph. It is a a fanatic certified. It's got the uh, oh, there you go. It's got the hologram and the everything there. So that was cool. It's crazy, guys. Now, like I said to you already, Superstore will be cashless going forward. It has been cashless since they've been doing these Superstores. Um, obviously, got to meet Cody Cody Rhodes on the first day, which was great. Give the game of the top loaders as well. There's my Cody Rhodes autograph from WWE World that came pretty much as you walk down the steps. They, they handed well, they handed me that, and then well, they handed me that, and then they gave me the photos. So it all went nicely together. But yeah, Cody Rhodes, very very cool, very very cool. He was so nice to meet as well, really really nice. And then of course, uh, of course, I got main event Jey Uso as well, and there's his autograph, which is really really cool. Sorry if I seem like I'm rushing, I've just got a lot to get through, but I'm sure, you know, you guys have seen the vlogs and you know what I were doing, so it was cool. We got uh, Bianca Belair, one of my favourites, she was super nice, really enjoyed meeting B Bianca, and there's her auto. So like I say, pre-sign guys, know this for next year guys, I'm sure it'll be the same at Fanatics in New York during Fanatic Fest, uh, same sort of deal. Uh, pre-signed, you know, but this was the only way to get some of these VIPs, so... I don't think I'd go so ham named Vegas. I just don't think I'd be doing that. But uh, you know, but like I say, it, it was an it was an experience and something I really wanted to do for the um, for the experience, you know. And yeah, so I got LA Knight, very very cool. He was cool. I was like next world champ. He's like yeah yeah, and that's what I'm bringing him, flipping him upside down. There you go, LA Knight autograph. I've seen people selling these pre-signed WWE world things online and people are getting money for them. I'm not going to flip mine because I'm a collector and I like to keep my items, but yeah, LA Knight. So that's with them. Uh, Mark told me you should get this and I did. I got the I Was There pin badge. This was $15. Very, very cool. That's it. Pretty much packed and sealed. Um, so that's most of the stuff that I got. Oh yeah, some more items around here. Oh yeah. So like other WWE stuff that I got, uh, I got the, uh, of course you had to get the I Was There shirt. So got that. And of course I was there on the back. Really, really cool. But I've, I've been reading on Mania Club, there's been people that's had issues washing these and all their like prints come off. But the best way to wash these guys is hand wash them. Best way. My 39 one's the same and they come up beautiful. So really really easy stuff and the best way to keep them nice um i did get the mania 40 flannel which i'm sure you guys have seen me having my videos which is cool it's got the nice 
backing to it as well, so really cool. Um, I got the jacket, which I got like on the, I want to say I got this on the Thursday. Yes, I got this on the first day, hence why I would say, guys, if you want any of the good merch, get it on the first day, because it will not be there by Friday. It won't be there by Friday at like lunch. It was gone. So Thursday is the best day to go to World if you want all your nice exclusive merch. But I love this jacket. So damn nice. I think, yeah, I know Mark got one and I think Sean got one. But yeah, really nice. Uh, I got the Great American Bash t-shirt, which I think I've shown you guys before. That was from Suplex, um, which I did show you in the vlogs. But yeah, it was cool. Uh, whisking through now. I've got couple other items I'm gonna go through guys we have cut of course the uh, I got one of the mania shirts I actually got this at the Lincoln Field Club shop on the Saturday yeah, I got this on the Saturday I got this at mania because they sold out of these at the superstore so I was like well I want one I think Mark got one as well so that was that was cool um got this matchup shirt as well also uh, Bailey and EO Sky, and there's the back. Um, we've also got a couple of shirts that were thrown in as like, I want to call them freebies, you know, they threw these in. So I got to meet Mama Rhodes, she was really cool, met her at WrestleCon, and they threw in this shirt as well. I think it was like a, a $30 meet and they gave me the t-shirt as well. So Mama Rhodes, Mother of a nightmare so very cool and i got this one in the chav when i met chavo on the sunday they gave me the t-shirt it was like i paid like 50 bucks which i thought was really cool and they threw in a t-shirt as well so i've got to meet chavo and i'll get on to the items which i got at wrestlecon in a moment as well um got i think I've, uh, so i know i've shown these on the suplex bar but to anybody that didn't watch the videos or haven't seen and you're just watching this and that's fine uh i got the Bootleg ECW shirt, very cool. I know Mark got the same one, uh, so that was cool. Got that, and yeah, I, I really like Suplex. It's a really good shop. You want to check it out if you're ever in Philadelphia. Got the bootleg Rock Bottom 1999, also oh, 1998 shirt, I should say, before you all start <laughs> fact checking. But no, I'm kidding. So yeah, really cool shirt. That is free. Got the date on the back anyway. There we go. Got matches. Um, also got Halloween Havoc, 1993, it's a nice shirt, I really like this, you got Vader on there, Cactus Jack, I love this shirt actually, it's one of my favourites I got as a bootleg, um, so yeah, bootleg vintage shirts are nice, um, so yeah, those are, that's kind of like all the, all the t-shirts I pretty much got. Uh, let's move on to the figures. So figures, I was able to get three signed while I was over there. Um, and I'm just going to go through them now. I got everything. Well, I got all the ones like that I bought to get signed. So I was happy with that. Of course, do you guys know I got to meet Ronda Rousey at WrestleCon. It became a thing where it was only pre-order only. And I would say to anybody planning on meeting the big names next year at WrestleCon, if they have a pre-order, guys, get on board with that because... There was a lot of people during WrestleMania or during WrestleCon that were extremely disappointed. They were not doing walk-ups. So unless you had a pre-bought Ronda ticket, you were not going to be meeting her. So yeah, so I got the Ronda figure signed. Really cool. A big shout out, by the way, to everybody that came up and said hello to me in the Ronda queue. I really appreciate all of you guys for coming up and saying hello because it was nice to meet you all. And uh, But yeah, that's the Ronda figure signed. Very cool. She was nice. Um, also, I met the million dollar man, Ted DiBiase, or as Mark would say, the million pound bloke, Ted DiBase. And <laughs> Ted DiBase, Ted DiBiase, signing green, um, Hall of Fame. Very cool. Everyone's got a price. I was very pleased with that. Got it signed. And of course, it is his variant, Legends figure. So very pleased with that one. And... Um, I also got the signed Heat figure for Perry Satin. This will go really nice with my Stevie Richards figure, which I also got signed. I got that from uh, Signature Moves. 
So that is the Heat sign figure. Perry was cool. You can see on the ball. He was a nice dude. Um, so that's like all that stuff. I'm trying to think if there's anything left I can show you. Obviously, I got the collector cups. Um, I bought one. Got that one. I bought that one. And then I got that one for free because that was just left on the floor at Lincoln Field. So I ended up getting two. So got my cups. Um, and then obviously now going into like the other stuff that I got from WrestleCon. Um, so I would say, uh, so I got one of the vendors, I don't remember his name, it was Rich. Rich had Canis Michelle and uh, he was doing a deal where I got paid like 110. It, get, it got me a photo. I got two autos with Candice. Uh, I got this one signed. So this really cool Candice Michelle auto from the WWE magazine uh, from the workout shoot. Very cool. She was lovely, Candice Michelle. And I also got her Playboy signed. So if you guys can just see that there. So that was cool. Candice was great. Um, it's all in the vlog, guys. You want to go see and see my house? She was. It's all in there, guys. Wrestle, no, the, the WWE WrestleMania 40 XL trip. It's all on here, guys. Um, so yeah, I got the Playboy. Then I saw they got some older Playboys, and I was like, yeah, sure. These weren't. These were quite cheap as well. Uh, this is a classic one. I got Sables for like ten bucks off another seller, which was there, which I thought was really cool. Um, and then we got few things I'm going to show in a second. Oh yeah, and they got this one as well. This is from WrestleMania 20, uh, Sable and Tori. So I think if Tori does a signing in Vegas, I might get this signed because yeah, she would be cool. I've got her other Playboy to get signed as well, but yeah, that'd be cool to meet Tori again. Uh, so that would be cool. Um, Extreme uh, Ryu, well, the Extreme, the tribute to the Extreme show from Battleground Championship Wrestling was also really, really cool. And I met a few wrestlers there that I'm gonna quickly go through the items I got. Um, of course, as you guys are fully aware, he's on all my intros to the, all my videos, of course. The Blue Meanie, I got his eight by 10 signed. Very cool, not, very nice guy is Brian. Very nice guy, very accommodating. He was like, I asked him about the video promo and he was like, yeah, sure man. So got that all included. Uh, I also met Hollywood Haley J. She also did me a promo, which I might start mixing in as well because she was really cool and she did a nice promo for me. So I got Hollywood Haley J. Nice signed eight by ten. Got the photo as well, um, and of course I got this. Uh, this is a reprint of the P numbered one, but Rhino. I got a Rhino print there as well. So very very cool. I, got, I met Rhino during at the ECW uh, tribute show at the uh, old ECW arena. So they were cool. Um, anything else I can show you guys? Uh, obviously, I, I showed you. I was saying I met uh, Chavo as well. Chavo Guerrero. Let me get out his. Get that for you. So with Chavo Guerrero, he was really really nice. Talking about the the last Nitro and. Telling me about this photo shoot and yeah, I told him how I got into watching like WCW was my first wrestling I watched as a child. It was like the only thing I was able to watch on the Channel 5 back in the UK, so on Worldwide. But yeah, very cool Chavo Guerrero. And uh, I also met Dawn Marie. Uh, didn't get the vlog of that, but she was nice. And uh, I was meant to go back to her, but I, didn't, I ended up running out of time. Not running out of time, I just didn't go back because she was going to do a promo, but then uh, got a little busy and I forgot. So yeah, but Dawn was cool. And uh, nearly there on everything, guys. We're nearly coming up to the 20 minute mark, so I am glad we are not going too long with this. I got uh, Steve Blackman, he was one of my uh, real reasons I went for WrestleCon this year. I was so happy that he got announced, and he was a high spots vendor guest. Very cool. Uh, so, yeah, the Lethal Weapon, Steve Blackman. Very, very happy with that one, guys. He was super nice. And like I say, guys, the vlogs are up. That's in the Ronda vlog if you want to go see that. And the last girl, the last lady that I got to meet during WrestleCon, of course, was the lovely Jasmine Allure. Um, She was super, super nice. And yeah, I got one of her 8 by 10s um, She was super nice. It was, I want to say it was Immortal Seats that vended her. But yeah, she was great. So yeah, Jasmine Allure. So that is, I want to say that's everything. 
I've got nothing else in here apart from flight documents from Philadelphia. Uh, I feel like just getting all this out was just like going straight back into holiday mode. So yay. Anyway, guys, that is it from me. I've been talking for nearly 20 minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It, it, that was the haul. It was a pretty damn cool haul. A lot of cool stuff. Um, yeah, I don't normally do these haul videos. I should have really done one for 38 and 39, but hey, we're doing one for 40 because damn it, you should do one for WrestleMania 40. And that is that, guys. And if you want to talk about WrestleMania, you know what? I'm going to tell you now, guys. I want to do this Q&A. And I've not really been talking about it too much, but I'm going to tell you now, guys. This is going to be on my video right now. I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a Q and a video to follow up from this. You want to talk about WrestleMania? You want to talk about booking trips? You want to talk about anything to do with wrestling? Uh, give me a shout below this video. Just put 2K Q&A. Hit me up. Put me a question. And I will start making the video for July. And that is the truth, guys. Uh, because, yeah, I really want to get this Q&A out, guys. We hit 2,000 subscribers not too long ago. I'm now on the way to 2,100. You know, content creating is fun for me. I love it. And, yeah, guys, for everybody that supports me out there, gives me the love wherever I go here in the UK or abroad, you guys really do make it special for me, guys. I know I, I feel like I'm not just talking to myself. I actually am talking to somebody out there that wants to listen, hear what i got to say. I appreciate each and every one of you out there, guys, because we're all just wrestling fans and I get to share my passions like all you guys. But that is it from me, guys. As I say, that's the whole video. Don't forget to comment, subscribe and like, and I will catch you down the road for another video, guys. I'm out.